All right, in this video, we're gonna write a really simple Python program that's going to take in three integers and give us the sum. However, if two of these integers are the same, the sum will be zero. So let's start this off by creating our function. So we're gonna create this function, we'll call it um, sum three. So we're summing three things together. And as we said before, there are three things. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna to have to determine three values we wanna take in. Let's take in an A, let's take in a B, and let's take in a C. So these are gonna be our three integers that we take in, okay? And, well, what do we wanna do? Well, if the function, you know, or if these numbers are equal to each other, the sum is gonna be zero, and if they're not, sum them together. So what we're gonna do is we are going to create an if function. So if A is equal to B, okay, or uh, B is equal to C, or a is equal to C. What do we want to happen? Well, we want the sum, so it's the keyword here, to equal zero. So them added together, it's going to be right away, it can equal zero. Else, so if they're not equal together, what do we want to do? Well, we are going to create, we're going to basically set it up so that the sum is equal to them all added together. So x, not x, sorry, A plus B plus C. Okay? And then after it does all that, what do we want out of it? Well, we want it to return the sum, okay? Run that, there's no errors, that's great. So let's actually make this a little more interesting. So what we could do is we can just print something basic like this. So we call our function and we're gonna put in some numbers. We'll go two, 10, and two, right? We print it and I get zero. Why? Because two equals two and our program says be zero otherwise. Or if I want to go, let's copy this, print, and I'm going to have a three here instead. I run it and I get 15 because three plus 10 plus two is 15. Okay, so let's make this actually a little more interesting. And so in, let's say I wanted to be able to take in more data or I don't want to hard code my, hard code my A, my B, and my C. I want the user to be able to, to use it. So let's actually create a value for a and so what a is going to be it's going to be an input so we're going to ask for the user's uh, feedback so what uh so input first value okay and we're gonna okay so we got input first value that's good however and i mean i guess i can show you i'll show you like this first and then i'll show you um the way we can make it better so input input second value input third value, make that a B and make that a C. And then we'll call the function down here. Okay, perfect. So if I run this function as is, let's say my first one is a one, my second value is a two, and my third value is a three. Oh, help in, helps if you actually put in the positional arguments. My apologies, run this again. All right, so one, two, and three. I get one, two, and three. Why is that? Well, my input value automatically assumes that my value is a string. So even though I inputted a number, I will get a string back. So same thing about A, B, and C, I'll get A, B, C. So how do we fix this? Because we still want our program to actually have the sum. What we would do is we would convert this into an integer. And how I would do that is I would call int before input so int input okay and let's run this again so one two and three i now get six so one plus two plus three is six let's run this again with some other numbers so let's go two five and two do i get zero i do perfect so everything works 